All right, my friends. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the REST operator. Now, the REST, it is quite a bit confused because you will see that even with a simple use cases that you are, it doesn't make a lot of sense. So I'm going to show you and later on, I'm going to explain uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to explain some of the secrets about this thing right here. Now, this or the REST operator, it's mainly used with the um, functions parameters okay the so functions parameters we are gonna use that uh, rest operator so let me create a function i'm just gonna call it show numbers right so show numbers and this function right here will take for example three parameters let's say or more than three parameters i'm gonna call it for example number one right so number one and number two as well so number two and for example I do not know how many other parameters that I want to receive so what I will do I will do something like this I'm gonna type three dots okay and for example to, for I'm gonna give it any name for example rest numbers or other numbers or whatsoever okay after that I'm gonna add my arrow function like so so what we have did we have um, let's say created a function that take one parameter two parameter and all these the other parameters that when i'm gonna call this function i have the ability to uh, specify uh, for example um, countless let's say parameters and let me show you something here what i will do i will add three console logs for example the first one will be number one okay i'm gonna duplicate this line okay we have it right here so i'm gonna also uh, console.log number two and here what i will do i will console.log the rest numbers so rest numbers like so okay you do not type three these three dots okay because these are to specify that we are using the rest operator now here inside my i want to execute this function so so i'm just gonna type show numbers and this one right here except the number one which will be three number two let's say five and also as many as i want but here we we want to type an array because what I will do here we are we do not know how many items that we want to specify so for example if I type something like this if we switch back to the web browser I'm going to show you the console okay switch back to the console so as you can see what well, we are getting the let me make it a bit bigger so we are getting the number three which is the first number that we have specified right we have we are getting the number five which is the second number okay and for these three items what it's gonna do it's gonna create an array for these items why is that because here we didn't specify any number uh, we didn't specify how many parameters exactly want okay so here we have two static parameters they will be as the as we have defined them but here we didn't tell it how many parameters we want to specify exactly so that's why what it's gonna do it's gonna take the rest of these uh, parameters and make an array for them okay so as you can see we have here an array if we expand it we can see that we are starting from index 0 1 Two, three so we have four items inside our array and it is um, by default it's gonna give each item an index right so we can access each one here by its index okay so as you can see ladies and gentlemen how uh, how we are able to um, make very flexible functions now of course I'm not gonna lie on you uh, maybe I'm not gonna use this kind of stuff too much in my in the rest of the course i just wanna uh, tell you about it okay because this is really confused as you can see of course i could have specify all these parameters right here but this is really a new feature that we want to explain now let me show you how you can 
uh, console.log here a specific item not to the entire array right so first of all let me get of this rid of this warning which comes from this thing right here i am importing the user users array and i do not need it so i'm gonna comment it out we can see our array right here i wanna log to the console for example the number five which has the index of one by default okay because it is the second items that i have specified in the rest operator so what i can do here i i am typing the rest numbers i want to access the second index which hold the number one because in array we are start counting from zero switching switch back to the web browser we can see number five being printed successfully because i am accessing the second index inside my rest array so as you can see ladies and gentlemen this is how you can specify or using the rest operator in general at the end of the day we are here it is gonna create two parameters for these things and for the rest operators it is gonna make an array and give you the ability to add as much as you want from these parameters hopefully that makes sense thank you my friends so much for watching see you in another tutorial